Alright, we are back. Do apologize for that. So who's on that fast lap to work? Nate Muris. Didn't get to see much of him last time. Oh, he hasn't validated his lap time. It was close. Here as Hamilton still in the past. Supreme Madness Jay Fox are always also very close to beating FDR Kyle. Okay, we Two corners left for Jay Foxwell. Looks like he's going to be the first person to set the benchmark time. We we're one thirty-three one, a little bit slower than the time he did before, but that's not saying he can't improve. Smooth then with a thirty-two eight in provisional pole currently. Helly thirty-two three. Big jump. Percy with a 36-6. Ross Wells, Second, Matrix. Matrix, have you? Hangs in with a 33 5. Uh, I believe that was. Not flu pass just over the line. Oh, it was. L pass. A lot of people going for the medium tyre. AJ Foxwell, Supreme Madness, FDR Kyle, ES Hamilton and Elpaz at the moment. If you're going to be using the soft tyre, you do not want to be burning that soft tyre out of you too, because this is the tyre you are, will, will be using to start the race on. Lupar's there with a 33.7, good enough to get him to P7. FCR Kyle taking the fastest time with the Cessna so far, being a 0.4 of a second above Heli. Uh, that. What? Who's coming up? Both 
the RS Hamilton and L pass yet to set their medium tyre lap times. The RS Hamilton with a purple set for two at the moment. Good job the Ferrari got out of the way that time. Hopefully that's not hampered his time too much. Two corners left. To fourth place, not too bad. Not too bad at all. A 32.5 good time on a uh, medium tyre by the looks of it today. He was left. But AMG paid had to kick and two actually cracking. Oh, I think El Paz keeps invalidating his lap time with those pesky track limits. Like that. He's going to have no option soon but to come in and just put it all in line for a set of softs. Because you'd rather have a lap time with some less durable tyres than you would no lap time and be knocked out in Q2. I think it's Jay Fox are going for another fast lap. He has already done three laps on the mediums. I don't know how long his tyres can last. Setting a purple set to two. Dewey does not want to be in that P6 position. He does want to set fast at that time. Four laps on them soft tyres. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's like trying to warm his tyres up. Percy going for another fast lap on them soft tyres.
teammates in front of him. Marcy moves out the way. Will he be improving his lap time? Two corners left. The Alpha Tower driver. And no, he won't be improving. Patty Cake is now going for a he's fast lap on mediums. I think he was getting a toe there. Don't know what the person's doing. I might be giving his mate a toe. Does need to move out of the way though. Oh no! Okay. Alpars just about to go for another fast lap. So car uh, obviously moving out the way. It looked like FTO Kyle. It was FTO Kyle. Validated that time for 20 seconds to get to the finish line. Oh, he's definitely not going to manage that now. Looks like we are losing Alpars. He is on an attempt to better his lap time. He doesn't need to because he is seventh. He is going through to Q3. But why not? Why not try and improve that? And he doesn't do it, unfortunately. Just waiting for Matrix to have you to cross the line or go into the pits. The like is going into the pits. Hopefully that will end the session. Unfortunately, we are going to lose the C19 Percy, TXH Kraken, and L Pars. Uh, AMG Speed uh, Page has had to run off. Um, is otherwise engaged.
And there you have it. We have lost four drivers. Again, FTR Kyle being the fastest driver in Q2. The first five drivers all on medium. Smooth Matrix, Lupars, Nate Muris, and Ross Wales all on softs. And here we are into Q3, the battle of the first 10 positions. Just a reminder to those of you that are joining us now, there is a league versus league race tomorrow, 8 o'clock. We've got five of our fastest drivers, our most. The top ones in all the leagues. And I do believe we are battling three other leagues over a course of. I can't remember how many tracks. <laughs> so, in this one, can Supreme Madness, J. Foxhall, or ERS Hamilton not? FTR Kyle off that top spot in this session. I'm expecting to see these guys go all out. Red tyres leave nothing behind. Hamilton getting himself prepped for his fast lap. I'm sure he's got enough distance with him and FTR Kyle. The RS Hamilton put in a good time. Very nicely around that part of the track. Catches a lot of people out. A lot of Diff 1 drivers losing their rear end. Sunday night. And the final two corners. 31-1. This is going to be close. 
Uh, I don't think he's quite got it. 32 dead. Also validated his lap time. Penny with a 32-2. Joe Foxwell, 32-1. The only other person I can think of would be Supreme Madness. Or ERS Hamilton, but... That was a very close time for me, R.S. Hamilton. If he hadn't backed it up in the first corner, I reckon that would be a mid-31-4, 31-3. So he wouldn't be far off. He's got some good pace. Unfortunately, because of where he invalidated his lap time, he's now got to do an entire lap. And it won't count. Supreme Madness here, going for a fast lap. Oh, and he's invalidated it. Can Lupar's put it out of the bag? Mm, it's going to be a 130. Oh, unlucky, my dudes. 34 3. Uh, he is on a slow up. You are on a fast up. You've not got a lot of VRS left. And he has moved out of the way for Lupas. Okay, so Lupas is the only one on a flying lap at the moment. We'll stay on board with him. Does he improve his time in sector one? I'm sure he can. If he doesn't invalidate his lap. <laughs> okay. Heli coming in. So some people might have saved up two sets of soft tyres. If you can get a good time in first time in in Q1, and not you burn out too many tyres, you can then use them again in Q3, and you do have a spare set left over, just in case you want to use them. It's all about getting that top spot. Couple of the drivers coming out of the pits for an outlap. Hopefully ERS Hamilton does come out very shortly. It'd be nice for someone to challenge FTR Kyle's time.
Go on, Jay Fox, well, let's have a go. ERS Hamilton just coming out the pits as well. Would mean that he would need to improve his lap time by almost a second, which would be very, very, very impressive. Possible. Very, very possible. So he's already up by a tenth in sector one. Ah, unfortunately, he has invalidated his lap time. Also, Supreme Madness has invalidated that time. Okay, so it looks like Helly's the really closest one to FDR file. He will need to improve his time by 0.7 of a second. We're looking for almost a quarter of a second. Oh, he's invalidated to that time as well. Ah, oh, no. And FTR Kyle is out. Going to look to improve his already fast lap time. Another quick guy, ERS Hamilton. Hasn't currently set a lap time. Heli crosses line, but not improving on his lap time at all. FTR Kyle improving his lap time again, dropping down into the 1 minute 30s. Incredible lap from him. So what I think now for ERS Hamilton is the only person on the grid that's not set at that time. Last corner. Well, that's good enough to put him. That's good enough to put him just in front of his teammate. And there we have it, FTR Kyle is our pole sitter. Weird angle. FTR Kyle in the first place by over 0.8 of a second. That's an incredible time out there. ERS Hamilton, Jay Foxwell, man in the second row, Supreme Madness Smooth on the third row. Smooth's teammate Matrix and Lupar's occupating the fourth row. And then Nate Mewis and Ross Wales in the final row. Seconds for the race.
I'm just gonna sit here waiting for players to log in, finalise their race tactics ahead of the formation lap. This is going to be a good one. The Div One, the Div One race Sunday night was action packed, and I don't doubt this one's going to be any different. So while they're going around for their formation, let's have a look, quick look at tyres. So it's not telling me how old people's tyres are at the current time. So yeah, RS Hamilton and J Fox are Oh, I did yesterday. I'm helping out McGurk by commentating on the race. <laughs> well, I don't normally do Tuesdays. I can always deal with that. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Here we go. It's lights out and away we go. FTR Carl gets an incredible start. And Doe, just one of the McLarens, might even just be able to overtake Heli before the first corner. Oh, we have lots of action at the back of the grid. Bucko. El Paz, Matrix, Hypnotic. Oh, not far that far down, but. Oh, Heli dropping back two places now. Oh, Jay Foxwell. There goes Jay Foxwell and Smoofs. Oh, dear. It's all up to Yaris Hamilton. Our car already doing almost a second gap. The RS is, Hamilton is doing an absolutely fantastic job of keeping him within a second range at the moment. 
Alilu all, all putting pressure on ERS Hamilton as well at the straight. Hypnotic Bush already up into 11th place. He did start at the back of the grid. As he was doing to V1 George as well, up to 11th. Ah, oh, it's all gone wrong for Jay Fox. Well, started in the top five, now he's down in 18th place. He's probably got damage. Unfortunately. Uh, Helly has also dropped down a couple of places for some reason. I don't know why. He's all dropped down into six. Alilu putting a lot of pressure on the the McLaren driver. Very nicely done by these two. Didn't quite get the gap. Supreme making a bit of ground up already. Looks like he's going to try and capitalise on the Alilu ERS Hamilton battle for second place. B1 George already up into eighth place, battling nicely with the. What is that? Alpine. Of AMG Speeds and. Oh, AMG. AMG Page goes wide. Oh, sorry, Lupas goes wide. V1 George capitalising on that mistake. V1 George already. Alilu has overtaken the McLaren driver. XH Kraken up into ninth place. Lupar's dropping down quite considerably. What's going on with him? Oh, nice TXH Kraken. Did the old switcheroo there. He knew Lupar's was going to go too far into the corner. Oh, Lupar's getting a bit of a snap from the right from Hypnotic even though he's got an X over his head oh putting that car a bit too deep into the corner and he loses control three second time penalty going a bit wide Joey Foxwell up into 13th place even though ERS Hamilton has lost his place to Ali though he is not letting up at all he's staying on the back of that Alfa Romeo very, very closely. Nate Lewis now in DRS range of v one George, staying on his tail. Hypnotic Bush, DRS range of TXH Kraken. Matrix have you. Patter Cake's DRS range. I think it gets enabled this lap. Oh dear, Matrix have you. Three second time penalty. Some exciting battles emerging. Harris Hamilton is not letting up at all. Harris Hamilton has the DRS on Adilu. Does he have enough speed down the straight? Oh, went for a late move around to the inside there. Alilu just made, did his reaction in time. Alilu trying to go around the outside of ERS Hamilton. These guys doing very well. And Alilu, it comes out in front. Unfortunately, ERS Hamilton does not get that position back at this moment in time. Really good battle for second place. Supreme also looking to get into that action as well. Pass driver. Let's have a look. Smoose. Very close on the AMG page right now.
and he does get the move done on AMG Page. THC Kraken has made the move on Hypnotic. Percy and Jay Foxwell also coming up behind Hypnotic. He's going to lose some spaces here if he's not careful. Still, the fight for second place goes on. These three drivers are doing an incredible job of staying right next to each other. Heli almost in DRS range. Just needs to creep a little bit of time back on Supreme Madness. At the moment, Alidu is doing a great job of staying out in front. The Alfa Romeo driver has been very, very consistent. MG Page. Interesting to see when people start jumping in the pits. we got not for intervals have to wait for Jay Foxwell to go over the line can't see Nate Mo Mewis
just behind the tail of AMT Page. And here we have our first pit, Nate Muris. for a medium. It's not going to get into the end of the race. <clears throat> We're going to have to change the tyres again. Could go onto another set of softs towards the end of the race. If he still has one left. Yeah, it's Hamilton. Has took that place back over Alidu. But Alidu is trying to capitalise on the DRS. Does not quite make it. Very good battle for second place. Still happening. Heli has made up his seconds now. We are getting a bit of a DRS train. They're all about the same time distance away from each other. Hallelujah, we're getting ever closer the back of the RS Hamilton. Hey, just going a little bit wide there. That's not going to help him in the DRS. He needs to stay right at the tail for that pit straight with the DRS. If he's going to make it round them. There's that final couple of corners before the straight. He needs need to nail a good exit. Good speed up that straight. Hallelujah, and the RS Hamilton again going around the outside of the track. What a great battle these guys are having today. Oh, this Alilu that looks like he's just going to come out in front. The RS Hamilton just needs to square up a little bit. It looks a little bit all over the place at the moment. Still the front runner of this pack at the moment, but ARS Hamilton does have the DRS. Oh. Supreme madness getting ever closer to the back of ARS Hamilton's car there. My lord, if this goes all the way to the end of the race, this is going to be a great battle. How old are these guys' tyres? Oh, Alilu doing a great job of defending the two guys behind him on a nine lap old, ten up old soft tyres. He 
He's doing a great job there. B1 draw, three second penalty, patty cake, three second penalty. I see that's all down the lower end of the grid. I'll catch up with these guys in a bit. This battle was too good to miss. Getting these two always battling around this corner. Something about that long left hander. ERS just needs to hold his composure a little bit, save us a little bit of ERS. Just so he's got a bit of extra horsepower to attack Alilu down that straight with the added bonus of the DRS. Good shot there. Oh, Alilu getting a three second time penalty. That's going to hamper him towards the end of the race. As he's going to need to not only be in front of the RS Hamilton or whoever's in third place, but also put a three second buffer between them and him. Still, no one can get around Alilu. He's doing an absolutely fantastic job at the moment of staying front. He's going to pit any time now. Oh, he thought about it. Yeah, he's diving into the pits. There you go. Alilu is diving into the pits. Leaves the RS and the Supreme Madness and Heli. Alilu is hoping to get. A bit of an undercut here. When these guys jump into the pits, Alilu, if he's got a good race pace that he has at the minute, should be able to put a couple of good laps in. Nate Muris still. 0.2 seconds behind Ross Wales. Easily goes around the inside of him there. Very nicely done. Mike is crackling. Better. FCR Kyle now just floating away in first place and at 8.1 seconds in front of that second place. That is a big gap. I'll just let you guys know you can stay on the Rise page. It won't check you off. I'm just going to pause the stream for a second because my mic is crackling for some reason. Um, 
you stay on the page, it will just automatically boot the stream back up again. You should.